What's going on everybody, Tonanza here. Welcome back to episode 15 of the Dark Souls 3 Convergence mod playthrough. Last episode we killed Pontiff Sullivan and then made our way through the first chunk of the Smoldering Lake, explored all the lake here, and then made our way into and explored the top half of the ruins. So today we're going to finish off exploring the rest of the ruins and lead ourselves up to that giant bonfire up there. So, we got a little bit of backtracking to do due to the location of the bonfire. So, I'm going to cut ahead until I'm back inside and have that stuff cleared out for us to make our way down to the lower area. Okay, we got a bit to do here. So, we're going to head down. We're going to pick these guys off one at a time. As they do hit like trucks. Hey, idiot. Let's get up here and activate our putrid blade. What's wrong, idiot? Don't know if I'm here or not. Well, guess what? I am. Ooh, you don't go down to, uh... You hit like a truck, but you don't have a crazy amount of HP, which is always good. I think that's just about enough of my magic wasted. Oh, no stamina. Yeah. Alright, that's them taken care of. Now, I don't think there's any more, but we'll do some exploring here and just check. Ooh, that looks kind of new. Okay, grab up the Capra Demon Skull. All right. I can dig it. Oh, nothing even up there to trap me. Okay, let's head down not this way. That's a trap. Instead, we're going to head down to the right here. Make sure there's no actual secret walls or something, no? Ah, look at that, a bonfire. See, I kind of regret leaving off where I did. Because of, you know, look how close the bonfire was. But at the same time, too, you never know with this area. Or you never know with this. I mean, I could have taken the chance and the bonfire be right here, or it could have been... There couldn't have been a single one here at all. Ooh, the Altar of Chaos. Detonation. Apocalyptic Flames and Chaos Beam. Demonic dual swords, chaos bow. Okay, fire damage increase. That looks sick. Alright. Well, to get these, we only need 10, 20, 35, 45. 45 chaos remnants. Well, you know what? Why don't we? Nope, right there. Okay, I'll spread vestiges. It's always a good spell. Okay, now this is gonna be a total pain in the ass. So we're gonna tackle the flame, the lava pits. There's two of them, and they usually have some goodies in there. So we're gonna tackle both of them after we've explored everything else and before we fight the boss. Get out of here. Okay, so there's the normal way to go, and then there's the route that usually has a chest. So, let's see if there's a chest up ahead. Oh, they already got this uh, opened up for me, okay. Stifled flame. 
What could that be? So it's a conjuration flame that has a strong physical. Okay, so that's for geomancies. That's not too bad. Oh yay, more of these. More of these dickheads. Let's go and drop. Hit, hit. Get away from me, you cursy little bastard. Oh, there's so many of them. Quick, run and kill what you can. Alright, let's see what a plague strike will do to them. Okay, good. They're a little bit more powerful than we were last time we faced off against them. Okay, doesn't seem to be... I think there is one more. There we go. No, oh, there's a bunch more. Heavy gem. Nice. Alright, I can handle this. This is easy mode. Hit them from a distance. Now I'll show you here just now where the next spot is. Uh, assuming it's still here at least. Oh, there's a crab here. Is there a big crab here instead of Night Slayer Sorg? I guess we'll have to see. Get out of here, you little crab bastard. Although all these little enemies are making it. Oh yeah, there is. Look at this. A crab guy. Hey, crabby. There we go. And got ourselves a large soul. Alright. Okay, so there's one item, two items in here. So yeah, we'll tackle this after. I want to see if we get a ring or something that can nullify the lava damage. I doubt it. I don't even think we have one now. What the... What was that? You son of a bitch. Anyway. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have anything yet. So we're going to have to go back to this stuff after. Because the reason being is that normally... Unless you get like some sort of immunity spell, which I don't think there is one. Normally it ends up being a suicide run, which is fine. But you don't want to, but you know, I don't want to be doing the suicide run with, uh... oh, hey guy. Yeah, I don't want to be doing the suicide run with my luck elixirs going around. Oh, you bitch. You're the one who hit me earlier, aren't you? Yeah, that's the guy that hit me earlier. Huh. A bunch of tanks. There you are, you're not getting away from me. Molten Titanite Shard, alright. I feel like that'll be very useful. Looks like our luck elixirs are... Our luck elixir must have ran dry. That's not fun. Wake me up before you go, go. Sorry. Oh, 
Alrighty, let's get this drinkity drink. Use up our luck elixir. Activate our putrid blade and see what kind of hellhole this is going to be. Well, there's already something there that I know is going to piss me off, and that's this guy running away. Okay, lure him to the left. There we go. There. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice try, jumpy guy. Oh, there's a bunch of these here, isn't there? Oh, geez, there is a bunch of these. Oh, my goodness. Jump, jump dodge. Ah. Uh, must you be this way? Sir. Molten dagger. Ooh, that'll be cool for a... Uh, Legionnaire stuff. Let's see what the Legionnaire stuff does. Right here. Increases dex, intelligence, and faith by one. So does that do the same for... By two. By one. By one. Huh. That's a five point increase for everything if you just wear it. Not bad at all. That'll be good for raising... Stuff like this is good for raising the stats just as you need it for... You know, taking care of or using a weapon that you normally wouldn't be able to use. Right, let's see what oh, it is up there. It looks like skelly wheel bastards. There is. There's like seven of them. Oops, let's do threaded. There we go. One thing I do like about this sword is the heavy attack is such a wide sweep. That and it has a really good range. Oh look at that, another bomb these bonfires are popping up like crazy now. The last episode couldn't find one. This one found 30. Although that is making me think that there's going to be some sort of enemy up ahead. Oh, there you are. I was wondering when you were going to be around, Night Slayer Sorig. Alright, well let's get out of here so I can put Wither on. And then let's go with our Plague Strike. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you still hurt like a bastard, don't you? Haha, <laughs> take that. Because, you know what? What's a necromancer without a skelly on his side, you know? Oh, I see something interesting. Like, this, was, this bridge was not here before. Like, I love... All the extra stuff they added in. Like this bridge, so unnecessary. You would think. And then they put something here that makes it just so cool. Like Irithyll Dungeon. Oh my god. I don't want that. So we're going to skip that. Irithyll Dungeon, I never, never am looking forward to it. Oh, Jesus. Where are you at, Skelly? I'm gonna call you Shelly. Hey. That's not very nice. Grab up our Quailana Pyromancy Tome. Nice. That'll definitely have some chaos spells in there. So we got, uh, looks like we're lining up for some pretty cool spells here. Why is this so dark here? Oh yeah, look at that. It's a greater foe. I knew it would be. How could it not be a greater foe? 
Let me just run around here. Thank you. Is it a greater foe? No, it's not. Not really. Just smack this in his face a few times and hit him. Oh, it's a shame. I was kind of hoping they would have a greater foe. Chaos Flame. That's going to help set us up nicely for the next area. Is there still a place to drop down here? There is. And look, there's skellies here to greet us. Once again, I forgot to put on the damn ring. Let's drop down. Thank you. Broken manacles. Oh yeah, hey. I don't want no beef. Is this close enough to activate Wither? It is too. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not jumping down there with both of you. That's just suicide. You hurt like a bastard. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's head back to the, I guess that's all that's left. So let's, all that's left to do is to tackle the, tackle the lava, lava area. So let's head down there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to eat a red bug pellet. Eat our fleet footed potion to sprint with no stamina cost. Our petrifying potion to turn ourselves to stone and increase profuse sweat. Flash Sled, which increases all of our resistances. So now we can go. Every every time you get somewhere, I'm going to take a Divine Blessing. White-Haired Talisman. And that seems to be it. So we were able to make it through this, no problem, which is great. So when you put on all that kind of uh, Flash Sweat, Profuse Sweat, and all that, it it stacks your defenses enough that you could basically survive anything, but let's head down now and let's head down now and go to the next area. All right, so we're dealing with some nonsense here. So we're actually gonna have to buff up over here. So we'll start again, flash sweat, profuse sweat, fleet footed potion, and a red bug pellet to top it off. And now we should have just enough to grab the item here. Smoldering. And smoldering stones. Perfect. Look at that. We were able to tackle everything and come out completely unscathed. All right, perfect. Let's head back. Okay, we're back. Doors unlocked. We're going to buff up. Wither up. And head on in to take care of the old Demon King. Now, what have they done to fix you? Oh my god, you have a ton of health. Oh Jesus, I forgot about how annoying that attack was. Nope. No thank you, sir. Ooh, that deals a real good chunk of damage.
Oh, there we go. Oh, he's buffing. Get a couple good hits in. Oh, Jesus. Get a good run away. This guy's not too bad. Some good damage. Sucks I couldn't hit him and hurt him at first. Oh my god. I might be able to finish him off just like this. I'd say one more. Let me go in with the poke. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, old Demon King. Well, first try. Oh, yeah. But first, let's have a quick look around, make sure there's no items. I doubt there is, but. Okay, let's head back. Alright, so, looks like we get... Ooh, we get the Moon Lance from Pontiff. So we'll pick that up. Uh, Stray Demon gives us the Boulder Heave. Okay, yeah, so we already got the Boulder Heave. Meteor Shower from the old Demon King. What else can I get from him? Great hammer, makes sense. I'm gonna pick that up real quick. Ah, that's right, okay, so I have two more souls of the greater foes that I'm gonna have to start, I'm gonna have to use here. But we'll pick them up after. So I guess we're gonna go with the conjuration spell, might as well. And that officially ends the smoldering ruins. And you were actually going to end everything here good place to leave off next episode we're gonna start kick it off with the rest of the year through the Boreal valley leading up to and including an orlando so thanks to everyone who stopped by if you enjoyed the video a like and subscribe is always appreciated and if you want to stay up to date on my content clicking that little bell icon next to the subscribe button is the best way to stay up to date because i do post daily but once again thanks again for stopping by catch you in the next one take care